All right, guys, we have an update to our enhanced magwell for the X Macro. Uh, new design updated specifically just to differentiate, differentiate from the SIG one. Our last one was very similar. Um, and we came out with ours first, but we did, I guess maybe we just read into how SIG, how it should have been designed. Um, either way, we want to make it a, a change here. So here's what it looks like. And boom, okay, kind of that. It shows it up a little better on the FDE one, and we're gonna go ahead and do that install here, and let you have a look. So, boom, very thin. So this one is specifically designed without any cuts on the sides or anything because it will be up against your skin. This is our EDC version. We're working on a a comp version or competitive version that's bigger and isn't designed to be um, put up against your skin when you're carrying concealed. This one is specifically designed to be concealed so you do not have sharp edges anywhere. Um, so first thing off on install, on the X macro, we're gonna go ahead and take out that pin. You don't really have to take it out all the way, just far enough to move that, that up. Drop the nut in, this one already has the nut that will be provided to you. Go ahead and put it back together, boom. And then the hard part, go ahead and line this up. You got a little detent or little edge right there that it can grab on the front. Boom, it's gonna grab the front. And then as you're pushing kind of back, it should just be able to slide down over. And there you go, you'll see if you see a little gap over here, you just keep pushing until it is flat everywhere, or the two surfaces are mating. So I guess the right way to put it. And then the, the bolt will be provided. Go ahead and drop that in there. It is good to note that that screw or the bolt is not straight down, it is at an angle. Almost at the same angle of this line right here, the backstrap line. So thread it backwards a few times, then thread it forwards. You may have to give it a little push just to get it past, um, just to get it past the polymer and to help line up that little nut that's in there. And then you don't really need to go super tight. It's about right, it's just, just about finger tight. It's not going anywhere. If you wanna put Loctite in, you can. And then you are done. You'll get no movement anywhere. You'll get a nice comfy um, magwell up against your skin. Nothing, no, no sharp cuts or anything on the side. And you'll have this great little um, lip up front to retain your hand. Uh, they will work with all of our magwells, or our, sorry, our base pads, even the Gen 1s. Um, and those kind of serve as the, the magwell, the EDC magwell kind of serves as two purposes. For one, if it's up against your skin, it's not, it's not ripping up your skin. Your hand will not go over or overlap the frame because now you have a magwell on there. It's a very slim magwell. And you'll be able to, it'll guide your magazine in a little bit quicker for your reloads. So there we are guys. Let's go ahead and check it out on the black one. I'm gonna zoom out just a hair. And that's what we're looking at. That is our updated enhanced magwell for the x macro one piece design very clean no fancy cuts again we'll come out with the uh competitive version where we can throw whatever fancy cuts we want on there why am i getting like a shadow on here it's kind of silly um but yes boom thanks guys that is the enhanced magwell for the p365 x macro it only fits the x macro frames doesn't fit any Wilson Combats. It doesn't fit any, any other metal frames or anything like that. We'll have versions coming soon. Thanks so much.